Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this waffle cardigan you will need a weight 4 yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. In this tutorial I make a size small. For all other sizes check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. This is the yarn I used. It's So Crafty Aran Yarn. I got this in Aldi but if you can't get it any weight 4 yarn will work perfectly for this. So we're going to start off with our back panel and we're going to chain 11. Single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into every chain to the end. At the end of the row chain one and then turn your work and now we're going to be working into the back loop of every stitch. So into that very first stitch place one single crochet into the back loop and then continue with single crochet working into the back loop of every stitch to the end. And you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 87 rows completed. So once you have 87 rows completed, your piece should look like this. So now we're going to be working along the long edge all the way across here. So we're going to begin by chaining three. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. And then you're going to make another 86 double crochets so altogether you have 87 double crochet At the end of the row, chain two and then turn your work. This chain two counts as your first double crochet. So now we're going to work around the next double crochet, but we're going to be working around the post. So here we're going to make a front post double crochet. Then we're going to do two regular double crochets. And we're just going to repeat that. We're going to do a front post double crochet into the next stitch and then two regular double crochets. And we're going to repeat that all the way across. So here I've just finished my front post double crochet and two regular double crochets and I have two stitches left. So around the next stitch make a front post double crochet. And then you're going to place your last double crochet on top of that chain three. Chain 
chain two and then turn your work. This chain two counts as your first double crochet. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Then make two front post double crochets. And you're going to repeat that. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch and then front post double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. Here we are at the end of the row. I've just finished my two front post double crochets and I still have two stitches left. So we're going to double crochet into each of these two stitches. So you're going to repeat those last two rows over and over again until your back panel measures about 26 inches. Make sure that you end on a wrong side. If you want your cardigan shorter, just do less rows. If you want it longer, just do more rows. But just make sure that you end on a wrong side. The two front panels are made the same way, but instead of doing 87 rows of the single crochet back loop only, we're going to do 36 rows. Once you have your 36 rows done, we're going to do we're going to chain three and then do 35 double crochet all the way across. So in total you're going to have 36 double crochets and then you're going to follow the, the waffle pattern the same way as for the back panel. And you're going to go ahead and do rows until your front panel measures the same as your back panel. Once your front panels measure the same length as your back panel, we're going to fasten off, but make sure that you leave a long tail on each of the front panels. For the sleeves, we're going to chain nine. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain to the end. At the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work. Then single crochet, working into the back loop of every stitch all the way across. And then repeat this row until you have a total of 30 rows completed. When you have 30 rows completed, we're going to work along the long edge all the way across here and we're going to make 60 double crochets. We're going to chain three first, that counts as our first double crochet and we're going to make a further 59 double crochet. I find the easiest way to fit in all your stitches is to do two double crochets at the end of every single crochet row it's much easier that way. Now you might find at the end of this row that your stitches are all kind of crammed together but don't worry as you make more and more rows it'll all completely straighten out. So we're going to continue with our waffle stitch. It's the same for all the other panels. We're going to chain two and then turn our work. 
this chain two counts as our first double crochet then we're going to front post double crochet around the next stitch then we're going to do a double crochet into each of the next two stitches and we're going to repeat that across we're going to front post double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to double crochet into each of the next two stitches and we're going to repeat that all the way across Here we are at the end of the row. I've just finished my front post double crochet and two double crochets. I have two stitches left. So we're going to front post into that next stitch. And then we're going to double crochet on top of that chain three. Chain two and then turn your work. double crochet into the next stitch then make a front post double crochet into the next two stitches and then repeat that we're going to double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to front post double crochet into the next two stitches so repeat that all the way across Here we are at the end of the row. I've just finished two front post double crochets. I have two stitches left. So we're going to place one double crochet into each of these last two stitches. And chain two and then turn your work. And then you're going to repeat those last two rows over and over again until your entire sleeve measures 18 inches make sure that you end on a wrong side once you have 18 inches we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail as you can see here after a couple of rows it will look like it's all curved but don't worry after a few rows it'll all settle out so go ahead until you have 18 inches next lay your back panel the right side up Place your two front panels on top with the wrong side facing up and then with a yarn needle and your tails we're going to sew across here and then the same on the other side. Next lay your entire piece out flat with the wrong side facing up just like this. Then you're going to mark the middle stitch of your sleeve with a stitch marker and then you're going to line that stitch marker up with the shoulder seam. This is your shoulder seam right here so just connect that stitch marker just right there at that shoulder seam the 
So now with your yarn needle and your yarn, we're going to sew all the way across here. And then we're going to do the same for the other sleeve on the other side. Then we're going to fold our cardigan over and we're going to sew along the under edge of our sleeve. So down along here and then down along the side and then do the same on the other side. Now we're going to turn the cardigan the right side out and we're going to attach our yarn to the bottom inner corner and we're going to single crochet all the way up along the inner edge of the cardigan so all the way up along and then along the other side all the way down until we reach this side. When you reach the other side we're going to chain one and then we're going to single crochet but we're going to be working into the back loop of every stitch all the way around and we're going to repeat that row until we have a total of seven rows completed and then we're going to fasten off. Next we're going to start working on the pockets. So we're going to chain 11, then single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain to the end. At the end of the row we're going to chain one and then turn our work, then single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way across. And we're going to repeat this row until we have a total of 24 rows completed. Once we have 24 rows completed, we're going to double crochet all the way across. So we're going to begin by chaining three. That counts as your first double crochet and then make a further 23 double crochet. So altogether you have 24 double crochet. Then you're going to do eight rows of the waffle stitch and if you want a deeper pocket just do more rows but make sure you end on a wrong side row. Once you have that done just fasten off and leave a long tail and then just sew your pockets to your cardigan and that's it. And that's your waffle cardigan finished. All you have to do now is just weave in all your ends and you're good to go. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.